Come on, Vanessa. <laughs> so what made you look since I'm the older one here? <laughs> what made you what made you join Miss Universe Malaysia? Well, I just wanted to I've been following pageants, I think starting from Nadine's year and then mm -hmm. you and then just seeing and then Carrie and then seeing everyone's lives change throughout the year. I was very curious to see like how it would change my life. So that's why I actually signed up for the pageant. And I graduated as well and wanted to try something completely different. So pageantry wasn't really something I was exposed to or yeah. was introduced to. So I guess that's why I signed up for the pageant. Yeah, what about you? For me it was uh, well, Miss Universe Malaysia is my second pageant, right. um, second title, and unlike many of the beauty queens out there, I never wanted to be a beauty queen uh, growing up. I, it was not a lifelong dream. It wasn't this, Me I want to be a princess. I never had. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we're high five anyway. Um, I don't, you know, I never, I never wanted that. And it was actually, to be very honest, when I was in my late teens, I was already modeling and uh, um, a few, miss, a few former Miss Malaysians were like, Deborah, you have to join the pageant, you have to join it, it could be perfect. And I was like, I'm like, I'm not joining any beauty pageants. And I was very, quite the feminist. I thought pageants were not very positive for women. Wow. Um, so I was very much actually against pageants. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, and that was before I went off to university. So it was really when I got back from university, um, I had a little bit more clarity. I think I'd grown up, more mature, more clarity on what I wanted in life. and. Uh, I, I came back to Malaysia not wanting to just model, continue modeling. I wanted to do something new. And so it was sort of like a whole weird series of situations that led me to the pageant. The moment I realized like, oh my gosh, I've not made it into top 10, you know, and you're standing on stage. And because it is a show, people forget that you're putting on, it's a competition, but it's a production. Like we're all there, 90 girls. We're performing for millions of viewers. And so the show must go on, right? And you're standing there and they call out the top, I think it was top 10. Uh, and they finally called out the last country and I remember standing there and I could feel like and I'm standing there like that <laughs> with my million dollar Miss Universe smile like I've got it, I've got it together but inside of you you're crumbling and inside of you you're you felt like I felt like the ground opened up and just swallowed me in and where, what are you going to do? Everyone's watching, it's live. You can't run away, you can't hide in your bed. It's, it's here, this is it. And so it was this weird sensation of people talk about when you hit, hit rock bottom, like when you hit rock bottom, there's nowhere to go but up. It was that really, it was a very literal feeling. I just felt, maybe it sounds a bit dramatic, but because I wanted it so much and I thought it was, I, th I really believed that this could be it, you know? And so when it didn't happen, it was like, it really was, I'm rock bottom, I feel horrible. How could this have happened? Like, where do I go from here? And so that sensation of when you're down and the feelings you're feeling, and you can no, you can you can't go anywhere but up. And that was uh, like after that, it, it almost it takes a you become fearless, you know. And you talk about everything happens for a reason, and and why you learn to you you learn to get on with life, and you learn that sometimes to get from point A to point B, you have to go through this whole thing journey, and so. It, it, it made me a lot more fearless in everything I did. I think for me, it was so different because when I went there, there was not much support at all from the country because there was so much hate. So just being there, I just needed to be so strong for myself. Um, just remembering that no matter what, like I'm there for a reason and at least the organization that I'm working for believes in me and my family believes in me. Um, so that was a feeling that I had to like hold on to just to keep myself yeah. in the competition because I was getting so much hate actually from like the fans and all. It's and always easy to sit on the sidelines, isn't it, and criticize. Yeah, exactly. It's so easy to say, oh yeah, don't think about it. But then when you're actually yeah. there and actually midpoint through the competition, there was one point where uh, a lot of the comments were coming in and it was, it just started to it's get difficult. to me. Yeah, like. Because for the longest time, I was trying to like keep a really strong front, and I did, I did, I did really well. Uh, but yeah, it just gets to you after a while, yeah. and um, I, I couldn't like at that point. I was sitting in the bathtub. I still remember, and all these like comments. They're Malaysians, and they're criticizing me. It's yeah. so painful to see, and it's so painful to like admit that. Um, but uh, I was like, no, you know. I can't give up. That's well, you, like too much. You find moving. your fighting spirit. Yeah, right? yeah. That's when I think like I think probably that's when my yeah. rock bottom yeah. came in. And but you're right, like that's where you have to like find that spirit and just say like, hey, you know what, you're here already, you have to finish it, finish it strong, you know, and just believe in 
whatever, like whatever in you that you still have, you just have to keep on believing yeah. and just because it was so easy to just give up, you know, because everyone's like putting you down, but. No, like and, and on that note of keeping it real, yeah. um, <laughs> it is a beauty pageant. Yeah. You know, I think we all forget that at the end of the day, yes, brain, brawn, a sense of a sense of who you are and all of this, but it's a beauty pageant. You know, we when we all signed up for it, we, we know it's very much we are very much judged on our physical attributes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. At the end of the day when you're on stage, it's this. It's all of this that they it see. Is. And so, you know, just know that. Understand yeah. that reality if you're going to join the pageant. <laughs> yeah, that's very true, yeah. actually. Yeah.